Imagine a man who spent his life captivating audiences on the silver screen, a master of his craft, known for his powerful performances. Now, picture that same man, Terence Howard, stepping away from the glitz and glamour of Hollywood to embark on a profound journey into the very fabric of the universe itself. It's a story that's as surprising as it is intriguing, and it all begins with a simple question. What if the key to unlocking the secrets of the cosmos has been hidden in plain sight for centuries? You see, Terence Howard isn't just an actor. He's a man on a mission, driven by an insatiable curiosity and a deep-seated belief that the ancients held a wisdom that modern science is only just beginning to rediscover. It's a wisdom that's woven into the very symbols and structures that have persisted throughout human history, from the intricate geometries of sacred architecture to the ethereal harmonies of music. At the heart of Howard's quest lies a symbol that's as enigmatic as it is ubiquitous, the flower of life. This deceptively simple pattern, consisting of interlocking circles, has been found etched into ancient temples and monuments around the world from the pyramids of Egypt to the ruins of ancient China. For centuries, mystics and philosophers have pondered its meaning, sensing that it held a profound significance that went far beyond mere decoration. And that's where Terence Howard's journey truly begins. Armed with a keen intellect and an unwavering determination, he set out to unravel the mysteries of the flower of life and in doing so, to reveal a hidden language that permeates the very foundations of our reality. It's a language that's spoken not in words, but in frequencies and vibrations. A subtle yet powerful force that shapes everything from the atoms that make up our bodies to the stars that light up the night sky. But Howard's journey is far from a solitary one. As he delves deeper into the mysteries of the universe, He's drawing on the work of some of the greatest minds in history, from the visionary inventor Nikola Tesla to the groundbreaking physicist Max Planck. These are men who dared to look beyond the veil of conventional thinking, who recognized that the true nature of reality lay not in the solid, static matter that we perceive with our senses, but in the dynamic, ever-shifting dance of energy and frequency. And it's this realization that lies at the heart of Howard's most startling assertion, that the key to unlocking the secrets of the universe and to harnessing its power for the betterment of humanity lies not in some far-off distant future, but in the wisdom of the ancients. It's a wisdom that's been lost, suppressed, and forgotten over the centuries, but one that's now being rediscovered by a new generation of thinkers and explorers. So join us as we embark on a journey that will take us from the halls of academia to the furthest reaches of the cosmos, as we explore the revolutionary ideas of Terence Howard and the hidden language of frequency that he believes holds the key to our future. Along the way, we'll encounter stunning revelations and startling insights as we begin to see the world around us in a whole new light. And who knows, by the end of our journey, we may just find ourselves questioning everything we thought we knew about the nature of reality itself. Howard's Key Assertions At the core of Terence, Howard's groundbreaking ideas lies a simple yet profound symbol, the flower of life. It's a pattern that's been found etched into the walls of ancient temples and monuments around the world, from the pyramids of Egypt to the temples of Tibet. But what is it about this seemingly simple arrangement of circles that has captivated the imaginations of mystics and philosophers for centuries? According to Howard, the answer lies in the geometry of the symbol itself. As he explains, the flower of life is far more than just a pretty pattern. It's a blueprint for the very structure of the universe, a cosmic map that encodes the fundamental principles of creation itself. And at the heart of this map, lies a secret that's been hiding in plain sight for thousands of years. You see, for centuries, we've been taught to see the world in terms of straight lines and angles, to break everything down into its component parts and analyze them in isolation. But as Howard points out, this way of thinking is fundamentally flawed. 
The universe, he argues, is not made up of straight lines and hard edges. It's a world of curves and spirals, of flowing energy and dynamic motion. And it's this understanding that lies at the heart of one of Howard's most controversial assertions. That the platonic solids, those perfect geometric shapes that have been revered by mathematicians and philosophers for centuries, are nothing more than a mirage, a distraction from the true nature of reality. As Howard explains, the universe is not built on the rigid, unchanging forms of the cube or the tetrahedron. It's built on the fluid, dynamic curves of the flower of life. But the flower of life is more than just a symbol of the universe's hidden geometry. It's also a key to understanding the very fabric of life itself. As Howard has discovered, the same patterns that make up the flower of life can be found in the intricate spirals of our DNA, the building blocks of our genetic code. It's a stunning revelation that hints at a deeper connection between the structure of the universe and the structure of life itself. And it's this connection that lies at the heart of Howard's most radical idea, that the elements that make up our bodies, from the hydrogen in our cells to the oxygen in our lungs, are not just inert building blocks, but living, vibrating entities that communicate with each other through a hidden language of frequency and vibration. It's a language that's been forgotten by modern science, but one that holds the key to unlocking the true potential of our bodies and minds. As we explore these ideas further, we'll begin to see the world around us in a whole new light. We'll discover how the principles of sacred geometry are being rediscovered by cutting-edge researchers in fields ranging from quantum physics to neuroscience. And we'll learn how this ancient wisdom is being applied in practical ways to create new technologies and therapies that harness the power of frequency to heal our bodies and minds. But these ideas are not without their controversies. As we'll see, Howard's assertions challenge some of the most fundamental assumptions of modern science and have been met with skepticism and even outright hostility from some quarters. But as we'll discover, this resistance is nothing new. Throughout history, visionaries who have dared to challenge the status quo have often been met with fierce opposition from those who cling to outdated ways of thinking. So get ready to have your mind expanded and your assumptions challenged as we dive deeper into the revolutionary ideas of Terence Howard and the hidden language of frequency. In the next section, we'll explore the cutting-edge science that's beginning to validate these ancient teachings and discover how they're being used to create a new understanding of the world around us. Stay tuned. The Science of Frequency As we continue our journey into the fascinating world of hidden frequencies, it's important to take a step back and examine the very foundations upon which this idea is built. At its core, the concept of frequency is rooted in the fundamental laws of physics, which govern the behavior of everything from the tiniest subatomic particles to the vast expanses of the universe itself. To understand frequency, we must first understand the nature of waves. Imagine throwing a stone into a calm pond. As the stone breaks the surface of the water, it creates a disturbance that ripples outward in all directions, creating a series of concentric circles that expand and dissipate over time. These ripples are a perfect example of a wave, a disturbance that travels through a medium, transferring energy from one point to another. But waves are not limited to the realm of water. In fact, they are a fundamental feature of the universe itself from the sound waves that allow us to hear and communicate to the electromagnetic waves that make up the very fabric of reality. And it is in the study of these waves that we find the key to understanding the true nature of frequency. At its most basic level, frequency is a measure of how often something happens over a given period of time. In the case of waves, frequency refers to the number of times a wave repeats itself in a single second. The higher the frequency, the more times the wave will repeat, and the shorter the wavelength will be. Conversely, the lower the frequency, the fewer times the wave will repeat, and the longer the wavelength will be. But the implications of frequency extend far beyond the realm of mere physics. In fact, they are woven into the very fabric of our existence, 
from the way our bodies function to the way we perceive and interact with the world around us. Take, for example, the human body. Every cell in our bodies is constantly vibrating at its own unique frequency, a process that is essential for maintaining our health and well-being. When these frequencies are in harmony, our bodies function optimally, allowing us to thrive and flourish. But when these frequencies are disrupted, either by external factors such as environmental toxins or internal factors such as stress and disease, our bodies can begin to break down, leading to a host of health problems and challenges. The same is true of the world around us. Everything in the universe, from the smallest atom to the largest galaxy, is in a constant state of vibration, each with its own unique frequency. And it is the interaction of these frequencies that gives rise to the incredible complexity and diversity of the world we inhabit. Perhaps one of the most fascinating examples of this can be found in the realm of music, as any musician knows, the notes we hear are not simply random sounds, but rather specific frequencies that are carefully arranged to create harmony and melody. Each note corresponds to a specific frequency, and it is the relationship between these frequencies that gives rise to the rich tapestry of sound that we call music. But the power of frequency extends far beyond the realm of art and culture. In fact, it is being harnessed by scientists and researchers around the world to create new technologies and therapies that have the potential to revolutionize the way we live and heal. One of the most promising areas of research in this regard is the field of vibrational medicine. This cutting-edge approach to healing seeks to harness the power of specific frequencies to promote health and well-being, using everything from sound waves to electromagnetic fields to stimulate the body's natural healing processes. For example, studies have shown that exposure to certain frequencies can help to reduce inflammation, boost immune function, and even promote the regeneration of damaged tissues. Other research has explored the use of specific frequencies to treat a wide range of health conditions, from chronic pain and anxiety to cancer and Alzheimer's disease. But perhaps the most exciting aspect of this research is the way it is helping to bridge the gap between science and spirituality. For centuries, spiritual traditions around the world have recognized the power of sound and vibration as tools for healing and transformation. From the chanting of mantras in Hinduism and Buddhism to the use of singing bowls in Tibetan medicine. Now, with the advent of new technologies and research methods, we are beginning to understand the scientific basis for these ancient practices and to harness their power in new and innovative ways. By combining the wisdom of the past with the cutting-edge insights of modern science, we are opening up new frontiers of understanding and possibility and paving the way for a brighter, more vibrant future. But the journey is far from over. As we continue to explore the mysteries of frequency and its role in shaping our world, we are sure to uncover new and even more extraordinary insights and applications. From the smallest atom to the vast expanse of the cosmos, the power of frequency is waiting to be unlocked, and it is up to us to take up the challenge and see where this incredible adventure will lead us next. Historical Context Picture this a group of monks in a dimly lit monastery, their voices rising and falling in a mesmerizing chant that seems to reverberate through the very stones of the ancient building. To the untrained ear, it may sound like nothing more than a beautiful melody, but to those who know the secrets of the ancients, it is a powerful tool for harnessing the hidden frequencies of the universe. For centuries, cultures around the world have recognized the power of sound and vibration as a means of connecting with the divine, healing the body and mind, and unlocking the secrets of the cosmos. From the sacred chants of the Vedic traditions of India to the shamanic drumming of the indigenous peoples of the Americas, the use of frequency has been a central part of spiritual practice for millennia. But perhaps one of the most intriguing examples of this can be found in the mysterious world of Tibetan Buddhism. For centuries, the monks of Tibet have used a special type of singing bowl known as a singing bowl 
to create powerful vibrations that are said to have a profound effect on the mind and body. These bowls, which are made from a special alloy of metals and are carefully tuned to specific frequencies, are played by running a wooden mallet around the rim, creating a haunting, otherworldly sound that seems to fill the entire room. The monks believe that by focusing their attention on these sounds and allowing themselves to be carried away by the vibrations, they can enter a state of deep meditation and even achieve a sense of unity with the universe itself. But the use of frequency in spiritual practice is not limited to the East. In fact, it has played a central role in many Western traditions as well, from the Gregorian chants of the early Christian church to the sacred geometry of the medieval cathedral builders. One of the most fascinating examples of this can be found in the work of the German philosopher and mystic Jakob Böhme. In the early 17th century, Böhme had a profound spiritual awakening that led him to develop a unique system of thought based on the idea of the signature of all things. According to Böhme, everything in the universe, from the smallest blade of grass to the vast expanse of the cosmos, had its own unique signature or frequency that could be understood and harnessed by those who knew how to listen. Burma's ideas would go on to influence a wide range of thinkers and artists, from the romantic poets of the 19th century to the avant-garde composers of the 20th. But perhaps his most enduring legacy can be found in the work of the German physicist and philosopher Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. Goethe, who was deeply influenced by Bouma's ideas, developed a theory of color therapy based on the idea that different colors corresponded to different frequencies and could be used to heal the body and mind. He even went so far as to create a special device called the color wheel, which he used to experiment with the effects of different colors on his own consciousness. But the history of hidden frequencies is not just a story of esoteric spiritual practices and philosophical musings. In fact, it has played a central role in the development of modern science and technology as well. In the early 20th century, a young Serbian inventor named Nikola Tesla began experimenting with the effects of high-frequency electricity on the human body. Tesla, who was a brilliant but eccentric figure, believed that by exposing the body to certain frequencies of electricity, he could cure a wide range of ailments and even unlock the secrets of the universe itself. Although Tesla's ideas were met with skepticism by the scientific establishment of his day, his work would go on to have a profound impact on the development of modern technology, from radio and television to the wireless communication devices that we use every day. But perhaps the most intriguing aspect of Tesla's work was his belief in the existence of a universal frequency that he called the Schumann Resonance. Named after the German physicist Winfried Otto Schumann, who first discovered it in 1952, the Schumann resonance is a low-frequency electromagnetic wave that is generated by lightning strikes in the Earth's atmosphere and travels around the globe. Tesla believed that this frequency, which has a wavelength of about 7.83 Hz, was the key to unlocking the secrets of the universe, and that by tapping into it, we could harness a virtually unlimited source of free energy that could power the world. Although Tesla's ideas about the Schumann resonance have been largely forgotten by mainstream science, they have taken on new life in recent years thanks to the work of a growing number of researchers and inventors who believe that they may hold the key to a wide range of applications, from alternative energy to holistic healing. Today, the study of hidden frequencies is a rapidly evolving field that is attracting the attention of scientists, healers, and spiritual seekers alike. From the cutting-edge research being conducted in the fields of quantum physics and neuroscience to the ancient wisdom teachings of shamans and mystics, the secrets of frequency are being revealed in new and exciting ways every day. But the journey is far from over. As we continue to explore the mysteries of the universe and the hidden frequencies that shape our world, we are sure to uncover new and even more incredible possibilities for healing, transformation, and growth. And who knows where this journey may ultimately lead us? Perhaps to a world where the power of frequency is fully understood and harnessed 
for the benefit of all humanity. Where illness and suffering are a thing of the past, and where we can all live in harmony with the vibrations of the cosmos. As we move forward into this exciting new frontier, let us keep an open mind and an open heart, and let us be guided by the wisdom of the ancients and the cutting-edge insights of modern science. Together, we can unlock the secrets of the universe and create a brighter, more vibrant future for ourselves and for generations to come. So let us embrace the power of hidden frequencies, and let us see where this incredible journey will take us next. Practical Applications Imagine a world where the power of sound could heal the sick, where the right frequency could unlock the secrets of the universe, and where the very fabric of reality could be manipulated by those who knew how to harness the hidden vibrations that surround us. While this may sound like something out of a science fiction novel, the truth is that the practical applications of frequency are already being explored by researchers and innovators around the world, and the results are nothing short of astounding. One of the most exciting areas of research in this regard is the field of sound therapy. For centuries, traditional healers have used sound as a means of promoting healing and balance in the body. But it wasn't until recently that Western medicine began to take notice. Today, a growing number of hospitals and clinics are incorporating sound therapy into their treatment protocols with promising results. For example, studies have shown that exposure to certain frequencies of sound can help to reduce pain and inflammation in the body improve sleep quality, and even boost the immune system. Some researchers have even suggested that sound therapy could be used to treat a wide range of conditions, from anxiety and depression to Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. But the potential applications of frequency go far beyond the realm of medicine. In fact, some of the most exciting breakthroughs in this field are happening in the world of technology where researchers are exploring ways to use frequency to create new and innovative devices that could revolutionize the way we live and work. One such device is the acoustic levitation machine, which uses high-frequency sound waves to suspend objects in midair. While this may sound like something out of a Harry Potter movie, the truth is that acoustic levitation is already being used in a wide range of applications, from manufacturing to space exploration. Another area where frequency is being harnessed for practical purposes is in the field of energy production. For years, scientists have been exploring ways to use the natural frequencies of the Earth, such as the Schumann resonance, to create alternative energy sources that are both sustainable and efficient. Some researchers have even suggested that by tapping into these frequencies, we could create a virtually unlimited source of clean energy that could power the entire planet. But perhaps the most intriguing application of frequency is in the realm of consciousness and spirituality. For centuries, mystics and spiritual seekers have used sound and vibration as a means of altering consciousness and connecting with higher states of being. From the chanting of mantras to the use of singing bowls and tuning forks, the use of frequency has been a central part of many spiritual practices around the world. Today, a growing number of people are rediscovering these ancient techniques and incorporating them into their own lives as a means of promoting healing, personal growth, and spiritual awakening. Whether through meditation, yoga, or simply listening to music that resonates with their own unique frequency, more and more people are finding that by tapping into the power of sound and vibration, they can access a deeper sense of purpose and meaning in their lives. Of course, the practical applications of frequency are still in their early stages, and there is much work to be done before we can fully harness its potential. But one thing is clear. The future of this field is bright, and the possibilities are truly endless. As we continue to explore the hidden frequencies that shape our world, we are sure to uncover new and even more incredible ways to use this power for the betterment of ourselves and our planet. From healing the sick to unlocking the secrets of the universe, the potential of frequency is truly staggering, and it is up to us to embrace this power and use it wisely.
but we must also be mindful of the challenges and obstacles that lie ahead. As with any new and innovative field, there will be those who resist change and cling to the status quo. There will be skeptics and naysayers who dismiss the power of frequency as nothing more than pseudoscience and wishful thinking. The Controversy In the year 1633, a man named Galileo Galilei stood before the Roman Inquisition, forced to defend his belief that the Earth revolved around the Sun. Despite overwhelming evidence to support his claims, Galileo was ultimately forced to recant his views and spent the remainder of his life under house arrest, forbidden from spreading his ideas to the world. This story is a powerful reminder of the challenges and obstacles that often face those who dare to challenge the status quo and explore new frontiers of knowledge and understanding. And it is a story that is all too familiar to many of the pioneers and visionaries who have worked to uncover the secrets of hidden frequencies throughout history. From the earliest days of human civilization, there have been those who have recognized the power of sound and vibration and who have sought to harness this power for the betterment of themselves and their communities. But all too often, these individuals have been met with resistance, skepticism, and even outright hostility from those who cling to the old ways of thinking. We see this pattern repeated time and time again throughout history, from the persecution of the early Christians to the suppression of indigenous wisdom traditions by European colonizers. And we see it happening even today as researchers and innovators who dare to explore the frontiers of frequency and its applications are often dismissed as charlatans or pseudoscientists. But why is this the case? Why is it that new ideas and ways of thinking are so often met with such resistance and opposition? The answer, in many ways, lies in the very nature of human psychology and the ways in which we process information and form beliefs. As human beings, we are hardwired to seek out patterns and create meaning in the world around us. We rely on our past experiences and the beliefs and assumptions that we have formed over time to make sense of new information and experiences. And when that new information challenges our existing beliefs or worldviews, it can be incredibly uncomfortable and even threatening. This is particularly true when it comes to ideas that challenge the dominant paradigms and power structures of our society. For centuries, the institutions of science, medicine, and religion have held a monopoly on the production and dissemination of knowledge and have often used their power to suppress or marginalize alternative ways of thinking. We see this dynamic at play in the way that mainstream media often portrays alternative or unconventional ideas, dismissing them as pseudoscience or conspiracy theories without giving them a fair hearing. And we see it in the way that funding and resources are often withheld from researchers and innovators who are working on the cutting edge of their fields simply because their ideas do not fit neatly into the established paradigms. Of course, this is not to say that all new ideas are necessarily valid or worthy of serious consideration. There will always be those who seek to exploit the power of new technologies or ideas for their own gain, or who promote pseudoscience and misinformation in the guise of legitimate research. But the fact remains that throughout history, some of the most important and transformative ideas have often come from the margins of society, from individuals and communities who have been willing to challenge the status quo and explore new ways of thinking and being in the world. And this is where the power of the individual comes into play. Because ultimately, the suppression of new ideas and ways of thinking is not something that happens in a vacuum. It is the result of the choices and actions of individual human beings who have the power to either embrace new ideas and ways of thinking or to resist and suppress them. As individuals, we each have a responsibility to cultivate a sense of open-mindedness and curiosity, to seek out new ideas and perspectives, and to challenge our own assumptions and beliefs when they are called into question. We must be willing to engage in honest and respectful dialogue with those who hold different views than our own, and to approach new ideas with a sense of humility and a willingness to learn. 
At the same time, we must also be willing to stand up for what we believe in and to speak out against the suppression of new ideas and ways of thinking when we see it happening. Whether it is by supporting the work of cutting-edge researchers and innovators, by advocating for greater funding and resources for unconventional research, or simply by sharing new ideas and perspectives with others in our communities, each of us has a role to play in creating a more open and inclusive society. Because ultimately, the suppression of new ideas and ways of thinking is not something that happens by accident. It is the result of the choices and actions of individuals and institutions that have a vested interest in maintaining the status quo. And it is up to each of us to challenge those interests when they stand in the way of progress and positive change. As we continue to explore the frontiers of hidden frequencies and their potential applications, we must be prepared to face resistance and opposition from those who cling to the old ways of thinking. But we must also remember that throughout history, it has been the dreamers, the visionaries, and the rebels who have driven the most important and transformative changes in our world. As we come to the end of our journey exploring the fascinating world of hidden frequencies and the groundbreaking work of Terence Howard, it's important to take a step back and reflect on the implications of what we've learned. Throughout this series, we've delved into the cutting-edge science behind frequency and vibration. And we've seen how these invisible forces shape the very fabric of our reality in ways that are both profound and deeply mysterious. The future is waiting, and it is up to us to shape it. So let us rise to the challenge, and let us create a world that is truly worthy of our highest aspirations and our deepest dreams. Thank you for joining me on this journey, and may the power of frequency be with you always.